Now reporter Laura Ang went to Paradise uh, and the Thursday night market in Chico to see how the weather impacted those areas. Laura, what did you uh, see out there today? The heavy rain caused a lot of traffic on the Skyway and kept shoppers off of the roads in Chico. That's a big one right there. Hail scattered all over Paradise Thursday evening. Extremely heavy there for a short period of time. Mixed in with some heavy rain causing slow traffic on the Skyway. We were inside the auditorium for a graduation. The hail came down so hard at one point. It was loud enough that it, it kind of overpowered the speakers there for a bit. Water pulled over in parking lots, rushing down in heavy streams on the Skyway. It's very inconvenient, I'm sure, for the people who are downstream and all the gushing gutters and gushing across the land. A flash flood warning issued until 10 Thursday night with debris flows and mudslides expected in campfire burn scar areas. A little unusual and concerning, Diane Long says. We have a river on the side of our property uh, that was gushing. And, and this is this is you know like almost June. <laughs> and back here in Chico, we stopped by the Thursday night market to see how the weather affected the shopping. Everybody was kind of hunkered in their little tents, hanging out, and then uh, I think probably 20 minutes in, they just decided to pack up and everybody left. He says this weather is unusual for this time of year. The Thursday night market was a ghost town, not a vendor in sight. I don't think it's good for people downtown trying to make money on their, you know, farming goods and stuff like that, but next Thursday will probably be a lot better. A fire confirmed a lightning strike started a small fire near LaPorte Road in Bangor in South Butte County. When firefighters got to the scene, they said that rain put out the fire. Reporting live in Chico, Laura Ang, Action News Now. The Glen County Sh Sheriff's posted on Facebook that down power lines are affecting the Glen Medical Center parking lot in Willows. The hospital said it's back, uh, it's on backup generator power until the scene is cleared and power is restored. This does not affect services at this time. PG 